So, episode two. Came in today, just about a foot of water. It rained the hardest it has since the 70s in Lebanon County last night. And uh, we now have a foot of water in our basement. So, that's today's project. This is how you get water out of your basement. I got a pump and uh, I'm gonna drain it through here. This is the old dryer vent and I'm going to take that out and we are going to put the pump through there initially to get the water low enough to where I can go over there where it is more shallow and then pump that out. So, let's get started. So first thing I have to do is remove this piece of wood. Yeah, that's me. Come here. And bring the crowbar, okay? It's in the blue bag out there, outside. What do you think about our new indoor swimming pool, Cal? It's really awesome. Do you want to put your bikini on and yeah. come down for a, a swim? I'll, I'll There we go. That'll do it. Hi. All right, so here's what I need you to do. I need you to call a doctor, tell them I'm having a nervous breakdown, and have them take me away. Uh, I just need you to pull this as far away as you can from the house. Am I going towards the street? I want to see if you can get it to the street. If you can get to the street, that'd be, that'd be best. All right, how far can you get it away? All right, I'm gonna plug it in and see where the water runs. Tell me if it's running into the street. Cause we wanna get it away from the houses. All the water that's coming out onto the sidewalk is running down into the grass. All right, wait, I got an idea. See if you can use this to make it act like a gutter. Make it go further out to the street. Here, try this too. That should work better. Is that getting it out to the street? Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna come up and look. Can you open the bulkhead door for me? All right. So let's, let's see how deep this pit goes. Ooh, that's deep. That is, yeah, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, that's good for those boards. This will stretch out. All right, now hold on to your hand. And just want to make sure it's not ended up in anybody's house. I want to take it out of our house and put it in someone else's. Yeah. That's good. That's getting it away from. We got to keep an eye on it, but. I think that should work good. Well, there's some ingenuity for you. You're probably asking yourself, what the heck are you gonna do since you can't do the basement today? And that was the first project on your list. Well, while Kelly is working on her arm muscles, mm -hmm. I'm gonna work on my lats. Time to tear up some carpet. Cut a rug. Okay, so I've gotten almost all the water out. I had to use a pump and now to 
finish it off, I'm using the wet dry vac. But I want to show you guys something kind of ingenious I thought of after carrying this puppy full of water up and down the stairs. Oh, 15 times. I got an idea. And I'll show you in just a second. <laughs> That sound means the vacuum's full, and now I'll show you what I've figured out. So you take that off, and you take this over to the bucket where it sits the pump. Fill the bucket up. water disappears, which is pretty ingenious if I don't say so myself. And then once it starts gurgling, it does backfill a little bit, but the majority of the water leaves. And if that's all I have to take out at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy about that. All right. So, I believe the water was about a foot and a half at its deepest. Maybe a foot, maybe just a foot. It was definitely about six inches from this pad up. And this is about four inches lower. So that's at least 10 inches. So maybe a foot. In some places though, it was, it was deep. It was almost up to the top of these boots. But it's getting there. It's slowly but surely getting dry. All right, so this is the end of day two at the house. Today was interesting. They say you're not a real homeowner unless you go through your first home disaster. So we got that out of the way right away, which is great. All upward from here. Uh, that being said, uh, we are under good authority that the furnace and the water heater are shut. So. We're going to need to get those replaced pretty soon. Uh, we have about three days of cold showers ahead of us, which is great. And uh, we did get uh, find some positive news. I went and got a tester. Uh, I went through and I tested them, and most of the plugs on the first floor are actually grounded, which means they've been converted from knob and tube to Romex. That should bring the electrical estimate down significantly because it's going to be a lot less work than we initially scoped for because we had scoped for an entire house rewire. So with the money we saved there, we should be able to put it into replacing our water heater and boiler, which we were going to do anyway. It was on our, you know, kind of project list, but we were thinking we'd do it in, you know, six months, nine months, a year, somewhere in there, not within the first week of owning the house, which is what's going to happen. So we have the dogs with us today. That adds a whole nother level of complication. They seem to like the house though. Meet our pride and joy. Pride's on the bottom, joy's on the top. So that's good. Kelly spent a good chunk of the day up in the, uh, master bedroom, continuing to work on the wallpaper. And then uh, we also tore out, out the carpet in her office. That was our day. So, are you excited for tomorrow? Yeah, what are we going to do? Finish the wallpaper in the master, move on to the other room, pull up the rest of those tack, uh, tack stuff in the carpet in your office. If we're feeling spunky, maybe pull up the carpet in here. I think we could probably pull up the carpet in the dining room. I'd be okay with that. You could sleep in the parlor. That's true. But you want to be near the air conditioner. That's true. Maybe we wait. Maybe we do it in the entryway. Yeah, I mean, we could do that. We could knock down that wall. You want to do that? That might be a fun... I mean, listen, we already have to replace our boiler. Like... <laughs> it's not going to be too livable right away. <laughs> Alright. See you in the morning.